Hello, you are watching Shalom World News. I'm David Kerr from Lansing in Michigan, and these are your latest news headlines from around the world. An increasing number of bishops are pledging solidarity with Pope Francis as he prepares to consecrate both Ukraine and Russia to the Immaculate Heart of Mary on March the 25th. That's the solemnity of the Annunciation. On Friday, in response to questions from journalists, the director of the Holy See Press Office, Matteo Bruni, confirmed that Pope Francis was inviting all the bishops of the world, along with their priests, to join him in his prayer for peace and in the consecration and entrustment of Russia and Ukraine to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And the Pope will offer that prayer in the afternoon of Friday, March the 25th, in St Peter's Basilica, beginning at 5pm. In an apparition of July 1917 in Fatima, Portugal, Our Lady asked for the consecration of Russia to her Immaculate Heart and a communion of reparation on the first Saturday of each month, stating that if this request was not granted, Russia would spread her errors throughout the world, causing wars and persecutions of the Church. The bishop of the conflict-hit Ukrainian city of Kharkiv says the church is continuing to bring the love of Jesus Christ to citizens in need despite the surrounding conflict. In an interview with the pontifical charity Aid to the Church in Need, Bishop Pavlo Honcherik said that his priests were regularly visiting people huddled in subways, praying with them and hearing their confessions. He said that even as war rages, people still wish to confess their sins and receive the sacraments. Kharkiv is in the east of Ukraine. It's one of several Ukrainian cities being ravaged by Russian attacks in recent days, with many buildings destroyed or badly damaged. That includes the bishop's residence, which was hit by a Russian missile in the initial days of the attack. Aid to the Church of Need has already dispatched an emergency grant to the local diocese in Kharkiv so that it can help cover the costs of fuel, electricity, water and food for those most affected by the war. A statue of Our Lady of Fatima has been welcomed into the city of Lviv in western Ukraine. The sacred statue arrived from Portugal on Thursday and was met by the Metropolitan of the Greek Catholic Church in Lviv, Archbishop Eeyore Wozniak, along with many of his priests, and hundreds of lay faithful. It was then taken in solemn procession to the Church of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin, that's the city's largest church, where Our Lady was enthroned. There then followed a prayer service for peace. The statue will remain in Ukraine until April the 15th. It was upon the request of Archbishop Wozniak that the sanctuary of Fatima in Portugal sent the replica of the statue to Ukraine. The Pope's special envoy for refugees of the Russian-Ukrainian war arrived in Slovakia on Wednesday to meet with those displaced by the present conflict. Cardinal Michael Czerny met with the local Greek, Catholic and Latin Rite bishops in the city of Kozice in eastern Slovakia. He also went to the Slovak-Ukrainian border where there are reception facilities for people fleeing Ukraine and moving on to other places. Cardinal Czerny said that he wished to express the Pope's closeness to all those fleeing Ukraine, reiterating the Holy Father's words that the border should be a place of encounter and not of division. The Czech-born Canadian Cardinal then visited the Ukrainian city of Uzerod, where he participated in a prayer service for peace at the city's cathedral. As the total number of people fleeing Ukraine reaches over 3 million, the bishops of the United States have reiterated the need for a welcome to be given to refugees and migrants. The Administrative Committee of the US Conference of Catholic Bishops issued a statement on Thursday saying that while each nation has the right to regulate its borders, all people also have the fundamental right to migrate in order to preserve their lives and protect their families. The bishops also exhorted all Catholics to welcome migrants as brothers and sisters and help them integrate into their new host community. In other news, the Upper House of the British Parliament has voted down an attempt to introduce legislation on assisted suicide in England. On Thursday, the House of Lords voted against an amendment to a health and care bill that would have compelled the UK government to introduce such legislation within a year of the new law being passed. The amendment had been put forward by the Conservative peer Lord Forsyth and Drumlean. In the end, it was defeated though by 179 votes to 145. Peru has declared the 25th of March to be a National Day of the Unborn Child. The proposal was approved on Thursday by the nation's Congress by 77 votes to 7 with 20 abstentions. It was proposed by Congressman Alejandro Munante of the Popular Renovation Party. His motion also stated that the interference of 
non-governmental organisations or NGOs promoting abortion in Peru through campaigns should be rejected. Finally, Pope Francis has held aloft St Joseph as a model for all Christians. The Holy Father made his comments on Thursday while addressing members of the Order of Augustinian Recollects who are currently holding their general chapter in Rome. He told the religious order, who venerates St Joseph as their protector, that every religious has to have the same father's heart as St Joseph so as to love and care for the sons and daughters entrusted to them. The Pope added that one cannot be a true father on earth without being a true child of our Heavenly Father. He also spoke about St Joseph's creative courage, saying that in difficult situations, the saint trusted fully in God. The Feast of St Joseph falls on Saturday, March the 19th. Happy Feast Day. Well, that's your latest headlines for now. Do join us for more tomorrow. You can also join us at swnews.org for news updates. Shalom.